Hey, what is up everyone? It's KB here and today finally I have changed my screen capture and game capture software. From a long time, like two or three years, I have been using the Bandicam, okay? And this uh, software is the best paid screen capture software so far. But few days ago, I tested the OBS Studio in my computer and I found that the OBS Studio gives me the better video quality and plus less CPU usage. Okay, that's why I have switched my uh, game capture and screen capture software to OBS. Like I don't use the Bandicam anymore. Okay, the reasons are simple. Like, you know, it uses the less CPU. As you can see, I'm recording with the OBS right now. Okay, this is the OBS I'm recording right now and I'm getting like uh, max like 15% of CPU usage in OBS. If I use the Bandicam, I get around like 30 plus. So it's m double. Okay, that's why I have like completely switched to the OBS. Okay, maybe in your case, it might not be the same. Like maybe the OBS will use more CPU, but for me, OBS is working just fine. Okay, I have finally found the best screen capture and game capture software and another great thing about the obs that i can use multiple instances of the obs like i can install the regular obs like as you install the regular program and i can also download the portable version of obs so i can use it for different like i can capture my webcam with it the i can capture my uh, screen with it like separately so that's why i love i just love obs okay it's been like seven days i have been using obs and this is just amazing software the best game capture and screen capture software this is just my opinion okay if you uh, have a problem with the obs i can do anything about that it's not like i never tried the obs before i tried this obs when it was in beta version it wasn't stable and it wasn't working for me so that's why i used the bandicam but now the obs is stable as you guys know okay you can also do the live streaming with it but uh, since uh, the obs became the stable it is working like almost in every single pcs so that's why i recommend you to use this okay now i'm gonna show you the best settings uh, for the obs in my opinion okay just quick okay quickly so i just don't want to waste your time so these are the settings i use for obs okay i'm just gonna go into the settings and uh, gonna go into the all output okay canvas you can select the video canvas as your requirement like if you want to record the 720p select the 1280 by 720 and if you want to select the uh, 1080 you can also select that i use this 1080 canvas because i have a 1080p of display so i use it and uh, after that go into the output i use the advanced setting not a simple okay go into the advanced setting and after that go to recording here you know if you have a nvidia graphic card or the intel gpu then go to standard okay select the standard once you select the standard you can record an mp4 or mov i like to record an mov okay just I don't know why but just mov okay i select the mov so i can record multiple audios you know mp4 is not stable if you want to record the multiple audios that's the reason i use the mov okay you can also use the mkv but uh if you use the adobe premiere pro to edit your videos then mkv doesn't work they won't allow you to import the mkv so i use the mov okay i select the mov and after that i use the encoder nv ENC which is the NVIDIA's graphic card encoder okay if you don't have I will give you another setting best setting okay and you can also use the quick sync but I found that the uh, NVIDIA uh, co encoder works better than the quick sync and uses less CPU so I use the NVIDIA okay and after that uh, i set the bitrate to like 30000 you can select like 50 60 it doesn't matter okay i just select the 30000 cuz i use the 30 fps uh, uh, in my videos so i don't record it at 60 fps if i want to record the gaming videos then yeah i i make it like 50 uh, thousand bitrate and uh, i you know just increase if you are increasing the fps then increase the bitrate so i just set it to 30,000 uh, bitrate and after that preset high profile high 
level auto you can also use the 4.0 okay you can also use that but set it to auto it will automatically do the best setting for you and uncheck the uh, two pass encoding and uh, leave it as it is so if you record with this setting you will have less cpu usage and uh, better video quality so this is my setting for obs and if you don't have a uh, like a nvidia graphic card and you want to use this obs studio to record at low cpu usage then try this setting okay i have tested this by myself under the recording tab go to type uh, default it is standard okay go there and select custom output ffmpeg okay select that once you select the ffmpeg go down and select your container you can select any of them like mov you can find lots of them as you can see you have lots of uh, extension like video extension you can select mp4 mov mkv so select your mp4 okay whatever you want to select mp4 okay i select the mp4 here and after that uh, video bitrate 30,000 or 50 whatever you want to select it depends on you but I use the 30,000 and after that go down and you will see there is a video encoder you can select the MPEG-4 or any of them like uh, the MPEG-4 will work fine the best you know it is the default encoder select that and uh, audio bitrate it depends on you if you want to get the highest video qual audio quality then uh, select the 320 if you want to just normal one select 128 so i just select the 320 i i just want to get the best quality so audio encoder a a c default you can also use that and that's all done if you have a uh, you know slow computer this is the best setting uh, i have found i have two computers i have tested their settings uh, I have tested these settings and these settings works just fine for me in my other computer I don't have a Nvidia graphic card. So I use this setting on my other computer. So this setting works fine uh, This setting will use the less CPU and if you select the standard and use the um, like uh, X264 uh, encoder then uh, you know it will use like 50 percent of your cpu so do not use this encoder if you have a based computer you can try this out it, does, it depends on you but if you want to use the less cpu then select the uh, nvenc encoder which is the nvidia graphic cards encoder this is the best setting you can do in your computer to record with obs with less cpu usage okay and if you don't have a nvidia encoder you can still try the quick sync works just fine and uh, even if you don't have a quick sync maybe every single computer has some kind of graphic card you can select that okay but if your computer is really slow try the custom output ff mpeg okay select that and uh, select the encoder and your container format and you'll be fine so these are the best settings for obs and uh, i'm just doing it quickly like you know i just don't want to waste your time but you know <laughs> i did it i uh, wasted your time a lot you know so i was just showing you guys that i have finally um, found my best uh, screen capture and game capture software which is obs everyone knows about that i wasn't using this till like seven days ago now i'm using it i'm you know happy with this software it is free and it uses the less cpu that is the main reason i use uh, this software okay so as you can see i'm recording with the obs studio and it is using uh, max 15 percent of my cpu okay so uh, and medium is like 10 percent so i just love this software okay so yeah <laughs> and you can also use the multiple instances like you know you can download the uh, regular version of obs and you can also use the uh, portable version so i have both like i use one obs i use for webcam and one obs i use for screen recording so this software is really amazing finally i'm using it you know maybe a lot of you guys are already using it but uh but if you didn't know about the settings what to do 
you know what are the best settings for obs so i just showed you those are the best settings you can do in obs and if you want to request for you know different video like just for like uh, best obs setting video then i will i can try that okay but this was just information video that i have changed my screen capture and game capture software and i hope you enjoyed it and if you don't know about this obs i will put link in the description you can go there and download the obs and try this out and try my settings those settings works just fine okay so yeah that's all hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and everyone bye bye Shh.